My name is Rag Reynolds, and welcome back to Medium Rare. Onision is back at it again. Back at the Eugenia Cooney topic. Now, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying he's back at it again. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure everyone knows Onision, so I'm not even going to tell you who Onision is. But Onision, in the past, has made a lot of of videos about Eugenia Cooney. He made a lot of videos before she ever started recovering and some of these videos he had made comedy skits where he dressed up like her and pretended to vomit into a toilet. A lot, um, many other things as well. He did a whole cooking show where he was parodying uh, Eugenia Cooney and mocking her and making fun of her. He also did many, many videos that a lot of people took to be bullying. He did them on his Only See On Speaks channel, or Ottobro, I'm not sure which, where he would basically look at pictures of her, use her body for clickbait, and basically was profiting a lot off of all these videos he was making about her and her body, while at the same time trying to say and pass off all of this work he was doing as good. He was trying to say that he was helping people. He was trying to use examples of certain fans who had messaged him, and those fans were saying stuff like, oh, you helped me get over my eating disorder. You're completely right about Eugenia. She needs help. She needs this. Anyway, my general opinion on the fact that he made videos on her is, eh, a lot of people made videos on her, and that's not necessarily the problem. I think the problem is more the fact that he made so many videos on her. He made, I think, like 50 videos on her. There's a list right here I'm going to show you. Onision's videos about Eugenia Cooney, and there's number one, number two, number three, and it goes down, and this goes up to 17, but then someone links more, and we're at 30, we're at 50, there's 51, and there's 52 videos about Eugenia Cooney as of February 14th. So since then, he has done more. I mean, as of right now, I know he has done four in the past week since the Shane Dawson video came out, but that is 52 Eugenia Cooney videos, and I think that is the biggest issue here. And that's without me talking about him mocking her or anything like that. I'm not really going to talk about that. His defense would be humor is subjective and humor is whatever. And I'm So I don't want to get into that argument. I more want to talk about the fact that Eugenia had specifically asked him to stop making videos. And for a while, Onision did stop making videos. He claims, I stopped making videos when Eugenia asked me. But then the thing is, her condition got worse, so Onision started making more, and Onision has said that in one of his most recent videos, because as I just said, in the last few days, in the last week, Onision has made four videos about Eugenia since the Shane Dawson video dropped. First, he made Eugenia Cooney and Shane Dawson, which is a 1 minute and 52 second video, essentially encouraging everyone to go check out Shane's video about Eugenia. Then he made RE, Eugenia Cooney and Shane Dawson. And that's just him responding to criticisms of him and stuff like that. Then he made defending Shane Dawson and Eugenia Cooney against Jacqueline Glenn. And if you want to know my thoughts on the Jacqueline Glenn, uh, Eugenia Cooney incident drama, whatever, then you can go check out my previous video on this subject I uploaded a couple of days ago. And then finally, at this point when I'm recording this video, he just uploaded uh, to his comedy channel, The Return of Eugenia Cooney, The Really Real Truth. And as you can see here, he's doing a parody of Jacqueline Glenn's video. He is sitting there, three characters, he's got his love doll sitting there, he's got himself, and then another version of himself in costume as the three people who were in Jacqueline's video. And the crazy thing is, that's just so far. I'm sure that by the time I actually post this video, he will have made more videos about Eugenia, and that is the problem here. I don't have an issue if he just wanted to make one or two videos here and there, like if he had made one video saying, this is Eugenia, she needs help, yada yada. But he continued to make video after video after video. She asked him to stop, he stopped for a little bit, and everyone said, oh, good job, thanks for actually stopping. But then her condition got worse and he decided to jump right back on the horse going back on what he had said before. She didn't ask you to stop making videos unless her condition got worse. She asked you to stop making videos. And you said you were going to respect that. Which you did for all of five minutes. The fact that he has made 52 videos and then another four in the last few days. That 56 videos we can count that he's made on this subject. And to me, that's just, it's such an insane number of videos to make about one thing, never mind one person. So I completely understand where all the criticisms are coming from 
of Onision. Now on Twitter and in his recent Eugenia videos, Onision is trying to come across quite a good guy, very supportive of Eugenia, very supportive even of Shane, who he has been very, very uh, outspoken against in the past. Anyway, Keemstar put out a tweet after seeing some of Onision's tweets or videos or whatever, and he said, I've had long talks on Skype calls with many different creators at Onision. I don't think you're going to get that redemption arc. Just be the bad guy. That's what they want you to be. And Onision then responded to this tweet, and he said, Please don't mention Onision again in your life. You threatened to rape his spouse on camera via tweet years ago. You are a monster. <laughs> I'm not even gonna comment on this. I just... Uh... Onision has been the exact opposite to Jacqueline in this situation. He made skits about the girl for God's sake. There's no redemption arc when the creator doesn't deserve it. He is a bad and not because we want him to be. Are you starting to feel sorry for him? I think it's a bit of both. I don't think it's uh, fair to just say that he is all bad. No one's all bad. That's a big issue I have with a lot of anti-Onision people, and I've always had this issue with the anti-Onision community. I used to fight with them a lot back in the day, because I genuinely think that a lot of them are talking a lot of nonsense. I think a lot of them are too involved, too over the top, too obsessed, and they nitpick at every little thing. They just can't admit even when Onision is doing something right. They can't admit when Onision has done something good. It is everything has to be bad. I mean, I can remember old Tumblr hate blogs and they used to, they literally used to take pictures from Lainey's Instagram and it would be Lainey with a neutral expression on her face and people would say, look, she's not smiling or look, she's frowning. That means she's being abused and it is the most ridiculous sort of stuff and I just, I have no time for it. I really don't. I don't think Onision's a good guy. I think Onision has done a lot of very bad things. I have a lot of criticisms of him, probably more criticisms of him than I have good things to say about him. But I must also say, people, I don't think, are very fair when it comes to talking about him. Anyway, my intention here isn't to be all nicey-nicey to Onision. This video is supposed to be more of, oh, and Onision's doing another crappy thing, talking about Eugenia in the 56th video. That's the point of this video. But I do think it's important to also acknowledge that not every single thing he ever does is in need of someone screaming at him and telling him he's doing something horrible, because that's not always the case. But the problem here is obviously, he's posting these videos, this is the 56th video we can count about Eugenia he just posted, and why is he doing it? I don't believe he's doing it just because he cares about Eugenia, I definitely don't. Even though the video itself is very inoffensive, the videos he's posting are very, I guess they're they're nice enough, he's not saying anything negative other than maybe one or two of them making them a bit about himself, but like the initial video he posted is only like a minute and a half long and he's saying go check out Shane's video. Eugenia's doing great, go give her support, love and support. There's not anything necessarily bad about what he's saying or doing in that video. However, the problem is that he's clearly using it to profit. He's clearly using it because he knows it's going to get him views and attention. And I think it was Repsion pointed out in his video that I watched about this situation. One of these recent Eugenia videos that Onision has made has gotten more views than any of his other videos have gotten him in the past few months. And it's only been a few days. So I think the criticisms here of him making these videos for his own personal gain and not out of genuine concern or admiration for Eugenia are very, very valid criticisms. Anyway, now I'm going to read some comments from under these Onision videos. So the first thing I see here is, Remember when Eugenia asked you to stop making videos about her? You weren't great at hearing then, were you? She told you to stop. He told you to stop. Stop. You are using both of their names in order to try and gain recognition, despite the fact that you were personally responsible for impacting Eugenia Cooney negatively during her struggle. Oh my god, her recovery has nothing to do with you, get over yourself. How happy are you that Shane never brought up any of your videos on Eugenia? This is really funny coming from you who made the situation 100 times worse when she was at the lowest point in her life. No one needed you to promote this, she asked you to stop talking about her, so stop. I think people do have a point when they say he's making it all about him, he's trying to make it as though he has had some sort of impact in getting her the help that she got. I don't think that's true at all, it seems that really the only person who actually had 
any hand in staging an intervention was Jacqueline. Don't get involved, you were the least helpful person to this situation and you need to leave her alone. You literally called people with eating disorders stupider than animals in one of your videos, or did we forget about that? You made fun of Eugenia the whole time she was struggling, all of a sudden you care, you are really milking this dry and it's just plain gross. Weren't you the one not too long ago shaming Jacqueline for being a bad friend because she wasn't doing anything for Eugenia, but now you find out she was the only person willing to sacrifice her relationship with her to keep her alive, you're also shaming her for that. Then you call her a hypocrite. Is this real life or are you just a complete idiot? Well, this is real life. I'm also not sure he is a complete idiot. People call Onision an idiot all the time. I don't think he's an idiot. I think he just overlooks a lot of things and I think he's a huge hypocrite. I also don't think he really cares. I think he convinces himself that he's right. I don't think it's about being stupid. I think he convinces himself that he is always on the right side. It doesn't matter what the situation is. You can look back through all Onision drama. There seems to be this constant thing that always happens in every single situation where he always makes himself out to be the good guy and whoever he's against is always the bad guy. He always tries to manipulate the situation into it being he's right, they're wrong. And yes, maybe he is contradicting something he said in the past, but it's for a reason. I don't think he says this because he's lying or he's trying to make people think something that's not true. I think he genuinely makes himself believe it in his own head. He, but he genuinely thinks in his own head that he's right. That doesn't make it any more okay, but I do think that's what's going on. I've done it. I've found the worst human being. So Onision, back on the Eugenia wagon. How long will this last this time? How long do you think? How many videos will he make? You know, by the time I've posted this video, I've already said, I'm sure he will have more videos out. I am going to make an estimate and I'm going to say, hmm, within the next month, I'm going to estimate another six Eugenia videos. Maybe that, maybe that's not enough. Maybe I'm being low there. Maybe I'm being too generous and optimistic. Maybe it's going to be way more than that, but I'm going to say six. I'm going to say by, by towards the end of August, he will have posted another six new Eugenia videos. The more I say that, the more I think I'm completely off and it's going to be much more, but I'm going to stick with that six. Let me know in the comments down below how many videos you think he's going to make and what do you think of this situation in general? Do you think it's okay that he's making these videos? Do you think it's disgusting? Let me know. And until next time, my name is Rag Reynolds, this was Medium Rare, and you're welcome, society.